Welcome to SAT 3310. We're going to be talking about working with Web and Network and Perl. And this is the lab review uh, to go over some examples uh, to help you be successful in this lab. So I think uh, one of the first things you, you need to do is find and install the LWP module for Perl. You can either do this with uh, CPAN or just uh, directly in your operating system using YUM or DNF. Um, but in your, your script, I would uh, go ahead and, and just use the LWP simple interface. Here uh, you can see in this example, I've set a couple variables indicating the um, default path and uh, the name of the data file uh, that I'm looking for. Uh, I've also in this example set a URL for the website where I can download this data file from. So what we're going to be doing uh, is downloading a, a file from the web and then we're going to be storing it local and then we're going to be processing that that file. Um, so you can use the LWP get store and you can see I've got my URL file and I'm going to save it at data path file. Uh, what that, that data file is going to look like, it's, uh, it starts out with a header showing the rank uh, and then a company name and then the company website. You'll need to remove that first line. Uh, you can do that with one of the methods that we talked about uh, using arrays, um, either the uh, pop or push or shift or unshift. Um, so looking at inputting this file uh, that we've downloaded off the web into an array, uh, we're going to open the file with the file handle. We're using standard input and we're opening it from a local path where we saved it. And while there's lines in that file, we're going to push it onto uh, the array of URLs and we're actually splitting that, that file up based on the um, tab of between each column in that file. So it's a TSV or tab separated value file. So we're, we're getting an array of uh, three items each line. And then always remember to close your file. Uh, also too, because we're gonna want uh, quick updates to the screen, we're gonna be turning off buffering in Perl um, to Again, like we had talked about, remove that first line of the array. We can just use shift our array of URLs. We want to know how many URLs we got. So we're just saying um, the total size is the scalar of the array of URLs. Now what we want to do is to be able to process each URL in that array and get the server type, which we can use the LWP function head URL string to get the server type. So this is sort of a long slide, but let's let's work through it. So for each um, item in list, or in this case, for each website variable in the array of URLs, uh, and we're saying the uh, complete URL, I'm, I'm sort of mangling it a little bit, but I'm adding the HTTP colon slash slash to the item index two, which is the third item. Now remember it was company rank, company name, and then the website. So that would be zero, one, two. So the complete URL is HTTP colon slash slash and then the website index two. Now I'm going to say um, setting up variables that are going to be returned with the LWP function head of that complete URL. And those variables are server um, type, expire time, mod time, length, and um, the, the type. What we're looking for here is server type. And I put out a little bit of logic in here in case server type comes back um, blank, just 
go ahead and just set that to be unknown. In the next line, what I'm doing is I'm saying if there is a slash returned in server type, I want just the things before the slash. So the server type substring is now the substring of the server type starting at index zero all the way up to the index position of that slash. Um, if there is no slash, um, just say the server type substring is the server type. It's then going to push that server type substring onto my array of server types. I'm going to increment a variable called working and I'm going to display in the screen working and it'll show the number out of total. So I can actually see that my script is doing something. Um, the backslashes or the uh, slash B are just backspace characters. So it all prints on the same line, gives the illusion that it's, it's actually updating the, the line as it's working. Once all that happens, um, I'm going to uh, set up a server type hash, which again is your key value system. Um, so what I'm saying now is for each server name in the array of server types, so for um, item in list, I'm going to do a uh, server type hash and I'm going to increment it. So what this basically has the effect of is for every server type that comes by, say Apache, it's going to add one. Um, then what you can do is is do your 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 working on that hash value. Um, so what that ends up looking like is something like this. Um, you've got an unknown. You've got a if an unknown comes by again, it's going to increment it. You see Apache. If Apache comes by again, it's going to increment it. Then an unknown comes by, it'll increment it. So what you end up with is a hash of your keys, which are server types, and your values, which are number of times that it's come by. If you want to display that, uh, rather than as it's going, you just want to say the end results, um, you can just say, again, you want to display all the keys in um, the uh, hash, you're just going to say for item in uh, list for uh, keys in keys of the server type hash, which again are the server types, print key, key, and then the value is um, the server type hash key. So that would be the number of times that that particular server type has, has come up. So what you end up with is something like this. Um, you've got a key called unknown, which is the server type, and that came up five times. Uh, you've got a key of Apache, and that came up three times. So it very effectively makes a, a running list of um, server types. Uh, to make things uh, display nicely on the screen, what I'm doing here is I'm saying uh, for each item in that sorted hash type where I'm comparing numerically the keys of that hash. So I'm sorting by doing a bubble sort basically of the keys of the hash. It's just basically going to do a, a numerical list of, of my hash because the hash itself is unordered. This will do a nice uh, dis sorted display on the screen.